What's going on guys? Tristan with High Five Hobby up here in the mountains of Colorado, just south of the Spanish Peaks. And I'm here with the Hay Bike Horizon. We're about to go get a little test drive. Uh, drove it a little bit yesterday, messed around with the settings. And I would uh, advise you not to mess with the settings if you're going for a longer drive because <laughs> I got stuck on a downhill with no throttle throttle button was just not working whatsoever and I had to uh, push this thing up the mountain and by the time I got back to the cabin I was pretty tired so uh, I'm gonna go take it up some steep hills we'll get some b-roll of going down the hill so you guys can tell actually how steep this hill is and then we'll come back up the hill and then we'll drive around and maybe go uh, usually I see some elk in the meadows over here we'll drive out there and see if there's any elk out there and uh, you guys can kind of see how the suspension is it did rain pretty much all last night so it's going to be a little muddy sand's going to be a little bit loose but uh we'll go out and have some fun so stay tuned what's up guys i'm here on the hill climb road and what we're going to do is we're going to start uh at the top and we're going to go around and go all the way down it did rain last night so i need to check and see how bad uh, the road got washed out or if there's any big puddles or anything once we get to the bottom then we will do the hill climb test so let's go ahead and see how that is now i do notice with this bike if you get any kind of downhill motion at all you are just flying down so you can already see, I haven't pedaled once. I'm in pedal assist one and I was up to 15 miles per hour. So I got to really kind of on and off the brakes a little bit just to slow down because this is a really steep grade. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty steep. I'm going about nine, 10 miles per hour down here. And you can see the road is washed out. Ooh, I felt the back tire just slide on me a little bit. And it's washed out again right here seven miles per hour and there's some big washouts here the bike is really smooth but it is kind of kind of sketchy going down right after a rain so go down here into the valley and we'll turn around and then we'll go back up and see I did this yesterday before the rain and I made it up the hill, but just barely. So we're going to have to go up into pedal assist five and uh, I'm going to probably have to crank it down to one, but uh, let's, and I'm going to try to pedal my butt off because I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty steep hill out here in the mountains so we'll give it a shot let's go we're 14 miles per hour we're about to hit the steepest part i'm pedaling pretty good 14 <sighs> Here we go, hitting the steep part. Gonna get up on the handlebars and pedal a little bit. 10 miles per hour, nine miles per hour. Throttle's fully cranked, I'm pedaling. Pedal assist two, or uh, second gear anyways. And finally, it starts getting a little bit easier. So we made it up that hill. I almost guarantee throttle only there's no chance now I'm not pedaling at all coming up this hill going about 15 13 here's a four-wheeler how you doing good good what's going on guys all right so i just met with my neighbor so i was coming up on the hill test and and he was on a four-wheeler and he just 
wanted to say hi so talked to him for a little bit and uh, if you saw the first test we went with uh, pedaling so now we're gonna try just throttle only I do not believe it's gonna make it I really don't think it's gonna make it because this is a really really long steep hill but we'll see we might get down to five or less miles per hour and have to stop but I don't know we'll give it a go all right so back in the valley we'll come up here and turn around And we're on pedal assist one. So let's crank that sucker up to five. And here we go. I weigh probably with everything on, probably about 250. So like I said, all right, not pedaling anymore. I just got up to the base of the hill. We're at 12 miles per hour, but uh, about 250 pounds with all the equipment and we'll see how this goes nine miles per hour and we got three battery yeah yep that's about it right there not pedaling so as you can tell we still have a long way to go <laughs> so we did make it this far but as you guys saw in my first attempt I really didn't pedal that hard and we made it up so even just the littlest bit of pedaling it's gonna help so let's give that a try again and now it's showing full bars of battery which I know there's not full bars but you see here it's showing full so Let's give her a go again with pedaling. And I got it on two. If I need a bump down to one, I will. But I can tell I need a charge because it's down to three bars. Not, a, not up on the handlebars yet, but I am pedaling pretty good. Oh. oh, I went the wrong way on the pedals. Back to first gear. Seven miles per hour. So if I would have been in first gear, maybe I wouldn't have had that little slippage. Well, you can see it's still pedaling. Still pulling nine miles per hour. Whew. This is a big hill, guys. I didn't think it was going to do it at all, but the fact that it makes it up this hill at all surprises me. And I don't mind pedaling, it gives me a workout. Like I said, I'm about 250 and I want to get down to about 200. So that's another reason I'm making this video is so I can lose some weight. <laughs> all right. Let's crank back up to third gear, maybe. Pedal assist five still. 17, 18 miles per hour going downhill. Like I said, it rained. There's puddles. So I'm gonna try to be cautious because I haven't been down this road yet. But yeah, this is gonna kind of be a vlog for me. Uh, learning the bike, but also trying to lose a little bit of weight. We might try that hill over to my right a little bit later, but it'll be nice to see what my weight was at the beginning and what it's gonna be after a month or two of owning the bike. And I can't wait for you guys to 
check that out with me. All right, now I'm over to the main road here. And we're gonna go flip around and see if you guys can see. I don't know what grade this is as well, but it's a pretty big hill as well. Not as big as the one we just came up, but it is gradual. It goes up and then it kind of flattens out and then it goes up again. So we'll see with the battery showing five again, but we were seeing four, so. We'll see what it is, but pedal assist five and uh, gear on three from a dead stop. And just kind of ghost pedaling here, not putting any pressure. Six miles per hour, you see the bars are dropped to three. I'm gonna have to go get a charge on this sucker. And then we'll maybe go out to the, go see if we can find some elk and some deer in the meadow if it's not too late. Down to two bars, I'm gonna pedal. Didn't need to, it handles, it handles this hill easy. Easy hill, no problem at all. And that's on two bars, pedal assist five, two bars of battery. So not bad at all. And try not to be too critical on my driving. I'm still way brand new. This is my first bike, first e-bike, and first time on a bike in 15 years. So there are some sketchy moments, I'm sure. And you guys are like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Eh, it's because I'm a rookie. So if you guys are also sitting on the couch and wondering, should I get an e-bike? Just know that I probably have about the same or less experience on a bike as you so if i can do it y'all can do it and like i said i'm trying to lose some weight get back in shape a little bit so anything's gonna help and i'm super excited to be out here in the mountains i'm gonna get this uh bike all charged up and then we'll go for another ride so thanks for watching there's my dog drake what's up drake what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Come here. Yeah, that's my dog, Drake. He's half lab, half border collie. And then there's my dog, Da Vinci. And I don't know what he is. <laughs> All right, guys. See you on the next one.